Welcome to Anything's TV, my name is Pete. And my name is Rupert. And uh, today we are going to look at some Fender guitars which are on an epic deal at Anderton's at the moment. Yeah, and they're super nice. It's super nice! And you've got a really sparkly one there. I do. It's, I've... it's like it's bright in my eyes. Yeah, but it's kind of warm, you know, with it's the warm. whole like, it's got that kind of sun yellow vibe going on. It's actually called Las Vegas Gold. Las Vegas Gold, but that's... Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's uh, definitely Vegas, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is very Vegas. Yeah, very Vegas, baby. Glitz, glitz, and glamour. But yeah, yeah, basically, me and Pete are just reviewing gear, making vids, having a laugh, doing a thing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, what we got today to show you is some Wicker guitars, and yep. so this is basically a '60s Strat. Yep. Uh, it's designed by a master builder. His name is Greg Fessler, and um, yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's more or less just a sort of standard 60s inspired strap with a few different tweaks to it. So obviously yep. you've got the Las Vegas Gold, yep. um, Rosewood fretboard, um, you've got the maple neck, it's a pol it's like a polygloss finish. Yep. Um, it's a Mexican strap, Mexican made. You've got, you know, you st sort of vintage style trim on there. Yep. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice guitar, it plays really well. Uh, it's just like a special edition, basically. It is a special edition, and yeah. it's on offer at Anatos Moment. Mm. The links will be below uh, in the description. And so, so the, the pickups are American, aren't they? Yeah, but they're the, they're the custom wound 60s voiced uh, <laughs> well, Fender pickups. So that's why it sounds like that. And if, if any of you are wondering why this little yellow thing is on here, actually, that's because any, it's, new. it's got. It's yeah. new, and inside here is the little spring mm. to keep the trim arm tensioned up. And uh, unfortunately, they tend to fall off, and then you lose that little thing. But yeah. that's why that's on there. So just yeah. in case you wondered. But it's got the it's, it has got the nice sort of sixties vibe about it. I yeah. mean, like not that I've played tons of sixties original strats, but at the same time, um, I've played a couple, and it's nice. Yeah. I mean, f you know, it, it, wait, older body. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 and it's nice and barky. It's not actually quite as spanky as a normal strap to my ear. Okay. Um, but it's it's creamy. Does that make sense? I think the Alder makes it a little bit barkier in the mids. Yeah. But um, well, let's, um, have, let's have a listen to it, see what you can do. Yeah, man. Um, Standard uh, configuration, the fire switch, switch, and all of that. Mm. So, yeah, I'll give you a demonstration of the tones. Thank you. 
I think, you know, did you see the captain put on his Facebook mm. page? He said, tag somebody who can play a golden strat. I should attack you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you can, it, it fits you well. Yeah, but it plays well. Yeah. I think that's the thing, and what I do like about it is, I mean, I've got this Klon clone in the front. Uh, no, that's not a Klon clone, that's a KTR clone. Oh, is it actual KTR, uh, an that, actual clone? That's an actual, that's the second, well, it's not the gold or the silver one, but it's the, it's the KTR version of this, actually the... The guy who built the clone got wow. that one. Well, fair play, and it sounds great. But with this <laughs> guitar, like particularly in uh, second position from the bridge, you've got that lovely kind of. <laughs> like, it's th it's poppy. Yeah, it's and creamy. It's a Fender Deluxe amp. Yeah, standard. But yeah. yeah, so that's me. Yeah, that's it. And uh, check the link below. I've got an an. Uh, a Telecaster, which is an American-built Telecaster, it's built in California, mm. in the main uh, factory there. And but as you might have noticed, it's kind of a a souped-up kind of thing. Yeah. It's got two vintage humbuckers on here, mm -hmm. and I'm not completely sure what they are because it doesn't say. It basically just says on the website that it's two vintage uh, head pickups here, vintage pickups. Okay. Um, it's a hardtail, right? There's no tremor. Yeah, it's yeah. a hardtail. Which of course, of course, gives it some some more power because the strings are go going through the body. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a maple neck, as you can see. It is a ocean blue Fancy. all the body with a modern C neck, 22 fret medium jumbo, and uh, 9.5 inch radius neck. And um, we should just have a listen to it. Yeah, we? give us a rasp. Really? Give, give us a, a rasp. Clean tone into the hot hot. <laughs> Spanky sort of telly telly tone, isn't it? You know, you know. It's great. It's great. Let's go back on the uh, back pickup. Spanky, nice neck as well, actually. Oh, it does, um, it absolutely does. Like, you demonstrated three distinct, very good uses for this guitar. Yeah, but you know, it's very, it could be very sort of uh, a funky tone. Is that the mother? <laughs> yeah, so, so that's really cool. We'll get some uh, drive on it. I've got an Andy Timmons uh, over drivel pedal on here. So. Of course, the humbuggers gives you that sort of, you know, a single coil would probably go a little bit this kind of thing. Where mm. this is, they're, they're really fat and, and juicy. Good pickups, man. Sounds it's, great. It does. Yeah. Um, very standard. Oh, it's got. Is that? That's not normal, is it? No, it's got oh, a belly cut on it. It's yeah. got a belly cut on it. Yeah. Good for me. So. Uh, <laughs> 
US made. Yeah. Yeah, great. And that's on sale as well in Anderson's at the moment. So we put a link on the, in the description below. And it's, there's a whole range of Fender guitars, a couple of basses as well. They got a couple um, of 70s inspired ones as well. Yeah, and, uh, and you can go, yeah. go below, have a look in the description and basically check it out. Well guys, there we are, there we are. There's not much to say about that. You should go in the, as I mentioned, link below. Um, have a look at these guitars. There's, there's, a, there's a really good, an epic deal as Anderton's calls it. And I, I think on. it's worth saying that, like, particularly, I mean, if you like out there colours as well, like, that's really quite important with these guitars, because they are, yeah. the, that they're both out there colours for Fender guitars, in my opinion. Yeah, and it is, it's, you know, it is not, maybe not appeals to everybody, a sparkly gold. I actually used to have one of these. Did you? Way, way, way back. But you know what? It's like if you if you're into if you do a lot of function stuff, it's perfect. Or if you're just a loud guitar player, not in volume. <laughs> if you if your style is just yeah. out there. Actually, I was thinking about getting one of these because I think it would be great on on a stage. It looks cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's definitely a stage guitar, isn't it? Yeah. In the sense, you know, if you're going to be playing gigs, you want yeah. something flashy. Yeah, yeah, then definitely. It's cool. But in terms of the fretboard as well, it's quite flat, so it's it feels more modern than you could conventional. Yeah, they are. They are a bit modern these guitars, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But yeah, man, thumbs up from me. Thumbs up here as well. Good. Let's jam out, shall we? Yep. All right. He was Pete. And uh, he was Rabia. Yeah. And uh, this was Rabia and Pete on Anderson's TV. We still don't know what to call the show, but no, we don't. still write in. Yeah. Send a little postcard in an envelope, and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. But Rabia, Pete, out. We'll, yeah, we'll see you later. Thank you.
Hehehehe. <laughs> 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 <laughs>